guys in previous video we learned about what are hooks why do we need them and how to use state hooks what are some differences between the state hooks as well as using the state in the classes now in this video we're going to discuss more about hooks uh, we'll talk about what is the difference between state of a class versus state of a hook okay so let's discuss so the first thing is that unlike this dot state the state in hooks doesn't have to be an object so if you remember from a uh, previous video example um, just show that to you so you can see that the initial state that we've defined over here inside u state it doesn't have to be an object it can be a number it can be a string it can be uh, an array all of that okay however when we used to write this dot state inside of a constructor it was an object we had to initialize it as an object right okay now next up that you can use state hook more than once in a single component which means in the previous video when we created uh, when we use this use state uh, hook we had used it once but if you want to use it one more time you can do that so for example we we can go ahead and uh, you know use the state hook again by saying that let's say name set name is equal to use state and then we can put an initial uh, we can put an initial state of our name to be like Imran over here so you can use multiple you know, like this you can keep on doing that of course you have to change these names and keep them different they cannot be the same but you can use multiple while when you used to use state you could only do once you could initialize once and you used to just write like name then you used to do count like that right okay so that's one of the key differences <coughs> Now next up is what are the features of the hook what are the uh, what are the things that hook offers you okay so the first thing is they are completely opt in which means that it is not necessary that you have to use them if you want to continue with your regular uh, way of using state with classes you are more than welcome it doesn't have to be that you have to use hooks uh, now question comes that can I use hooks as uh, with the functional component as well as uh, state with classes well yes you can okay uh, you just have to ensure that whenever you're using hook so for example if you use use state it has to be with, within the functional component it cannot be inside a class so you cannot use the hooks as well as uh, sorry hooks in the classes basically they have to be inside of the functional component okay so that's one thing next is 100 percent backwards compatible so if you are going to be working on a project uh, and if you feel that you've written your project in using classes uh, and states inside of them and uh, are you will you be able to use hooks in the same project or not the question comes to your mind right so the answer is yes you can actually okay uh, it's just that don't mix them up uh, which means if you have written a logic in the class let it be but whenever you're starting something new when you're writing functional component then you can use state okay uh, all right great now you split one component into smaller function uh, on what pieces are related uh, which means that because hooks allow you to keep things simple you can actually uh, go ahead and break your component into smaller chunks compared to uh, classes wherein you had component did mount component did update you had all sort of logic scattered all over right so it was difficult to break those component into smaller pieces but here since the functional component and you know is pretty much neat and clean uh, and it is simple you can break your components to multiple components functional components okay great um, hooks let you use more of react features without classes so as you know that we don't need classes to be able to use state and other features of react we can do all of that inside a functional component we don't have to use class components and reuse functionality between components so again it's self-explanatory okay <clears throat> next up what are the rules of the hooks what are the things that you should keep in mind uh, when writing your hooks 
Well, the first thing is that you should call them at top level. Do not call hooks inside loops, conditions, or nested functions. Uh, you should call from a React function component. Don't call hooks from a JavaScript function. So it has to be a React component, not inside of a JavaScript component. Okay. Uh, there are linter plugins available uh, for to check all of these rules. So there is a plugin called ESLint plugin React hooks. Okay, sorry. ESLint plugin react hooks npm <clears throat> so there's a plugin available uh, in case you want to be sure that you're following the rules that we just discussed you don't have to worry about uh, it you can just install it and just add this to your ESLint configuration okay so this will keep a watch whether you are following these rules or not okay all right, uh, now there are different types of hooks. Uh, there are two main hooks that are used. One is uh, the state hook and second is effect hook. These are the two main ones that you need to use. The rest all of them are not used that frequently, but you can use them. So there are many of the, them. In fact, the, the list of whole hooks uh, com you know, comprises of the uh, hooks APIs. If somebody talks to you about hooks API then you understand that they are talking about all different hooks that react make them available to you okay so use state and use effect are the main ones but there are others like use context use reducer uh, use callback I think this T needs to be small uh, use memo use ref uh, then you have use imperative handle use layout use debug value okay so you've got all of this so we're going to discuss uh, these two so you we've already discussed the use state but uh, i think that we should do this in the next video uh, i don't want to make this video too long so in the next video we're going to discuss about use state in detail in depth and then in the following video we'll discuss about the use effect okay guys so i hope you did like the video if you did uh, please do subscribe to my channel you hit the subscribe button and uh, also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Imran H. Sayed. Okay, so you go to Twitter, go over here, you can hit the follow button. Okay, all right, guys, see you then. Uh, take care, bye bye.